Independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. defends his consideration of Aaron Rodgers as a potential running mate as the New York Jets quarterback is dealing with alleged comments he made about the Sandy Hook school shooting. The news surrounding Rodgers has been controversial, with more focus on his off-field statements than his football performance. Last year, after being injured in the first game of the season, Rodgers made headlines for espousing anti-vaccine conspiracy theories and engaging in smear attacks against late-night host Jimmy Kimmel. One of the most alarming assertions attributed to him was the conspiracy theory that the Sandy Hook shooting was staged by the government. CNN's Pamela Brown said she clearly remembers Rogers telling her about men in black in the woods by the school. Additionally, former Green Bay Packers backup quarterback Deshaun Kaiser labeled Rogers a September 11th truther. In response to Rogers' alleged comments about Sandy Hook, the football star took to X, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, to say, as I'm on the record saying in the past, what happened in Sandy Hook was an absolute tragedy. I am not and have never been of the opinion that the events did not take place, he continued. Again, I hope that we learn from this and other tragedies to identify the signs that will allow us to prevent unnecessary loss of life. My thoughts and prayers continue to remain with the families affected along with the entire Sandy Hook community. Kennedy himself has been no stranger to controversy, particularly regarding his opposition to COVID-19 vaccines and his affiliation with various conspiracy theories related to the pandemic. The presidential hopeful expressed his admiration for Rogers, emphasizing the quarterback's appeal to younger generations and his ability to challenge conventional narratives. He also praised the NFL star for his resilience in the face of media scrutiny and highlighted the importance of having a critical thinker in a position of influence. As OK previously reported, the Sandy Hook conspiracy theory, perpetuated by figures like radio host Alex Jones, has faced legal consequences. The InfoWars owner still owes millions to the parents of Sandy Hook victims due to spreading falsehoods about the tragedy. He's also been suspended and banned from many platforms for violating their terms of service, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, iTunes and Roku.